Welcome back, Conroe High. Today is January 21st, 2020. I'm Amir. And I'm Melly. And in today's show, we'll be talking about McGregor versus Cowboy and the Super Bowl. So stay tuned for today's episode of Total Recap. On Saturday, on Saturday, January 18th, Conor McGregor TKO Donald Cowboy Cerrone, beating him in only 40 seconds in his first UFC fight since 2018 after his fourth round submission to Khabib Nurmagomedov, making this the second quickest knockout in McGregor's career behind the 13 seconds it took him to finish Jose Aldo in 2015. McGregor landed a shoulder strike in the opening seconds of the match, bloodying Cowboy, then proceeded to finish him with a left hook, sending Cowboy to the mat. McGregor said after the fight, quote, I made history here tonight. I set another record. I'm the first UFC fighter to secure knockouts in featherweight, lightweight, and welterweight, end quote. In recent news, this year's Super Bowl will be one of the most expensive games due to the Kansas City Chiefs facing off against the San Francisco 49ers. On the online ticket platform SeatGeek, the average resale price is currently 6232 although the average price for tickets sold in the past 24 hours have, was even higher at $6,785. The cheapest ticket currently listed on SeatGeek is $5,727, while the most expensive is a, whop, is a whopping $70,153. And if you're looking to go with a big group, an 18-person suite will set you back about four, $439,000, according to Ticket IQ. The second most expensive game was between the New England Patriots and Philadelphia Eagles. The average resale price reached $5,373. We will now take it to a quick commercial break. And I got cloudy eyes, sunshine in my life. Now I've got anchors, no from the sky and I'll keep going I One day my feet took off the ground Feels like my weight is shedding now Sunshine and the sky starts cutting through Oh, it starts cutting through Kaleidoscope of butterflies This is where I wanna be But then the colors change The blue turns into Good afternoon, good people. I'm Gabe, your weather guy for today. The high will be 57 degrees and low will be 30 degrees, being partly cloudy. Tomorrow, the high will be 52 degrees and low will be 52 degrees, with a 9% chance of rain showers. For Thursday, we'll be having a high of 62 degrees and a low of 42 degrees, being partly cloudy. For Friday, we'll be having a high of 61 degrees and a low of 38 degrees, being sunny. And finally, on Saturday, the high will be 64 degrees and the low will be 49 degrees, being partly cloudy. And now for the fact of the day. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Skype are all illegal in China. We will now take to a soccer interview. Hello, guys. Today we're going to interview a soccer player, Luis Zamora. How's it going, man? Nice to meet you. I'm going good. I'm going good. All right. First question. What position do you play? Um, I play uh, forward. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, good, man. That's good. How many goals have you scored? Uh, actually, I haven't kept up. But I think I have four or five, maybe. That's good, man. That's good. What are some of the most difficult teams to play against? To play against? Uh, well, in our district, it's more of a, I mean, it's more of like a game day thing. Like anybody, any day, any team can just can just come and and sh and just come out strong. So I mean, really, almost any team in our district, our district, one of the hardest, I, I believe. And as you can see, last year, College Park made it pretty deep in the playoffs. So I believe any team in our district is, uh, is a hard team to play. All right. 
Tell us how you balance your school and soccer schedule. Um, well, it's gotten better since uh, my freshman year, where like every time I had a game, I wouldn't even do my work. But as years progress, I've gotten better at it. Um, what I do is usually I do comes like in fifth period when there's like lunch period. I usually do like if I have a lot of work, I usually during fifth period when we're in break or waiting to go to our lunch, um, I do some work there, and then that really helps me along. That's good, man. Are you planning to play professional one day? Um. I don't know. I mean, if life if life helps me get there, yeah. If I can, I will. That's good, bro. What is your favorite part in, about being on a soccer team? Oh, just being together, man. We're, we're all we're all brothers. We all like to um, play around, you know, be a guy, be guys, you know, screw around. And I, the best part is just playing together and like getting to know each other and getting more close together. That sounds good, bro. What would you say to someone thinking of joining the soccer team? Um, work hard, of course. Work hard. Working hard is, is, is the, is the main thing. Also, attitude. Attitude helps a lot. Uh, if you have a good attitude in the team, everybody's gonna like you. You're gonna be good. And then, and if you have a good positive attitude, it's gonna help the team. Anybody that's feeling down, having a good attitude is gonna help them get up. And then, everybody, everybody, works together and becomes closer together and becomes a better team. That's good. All right, man. Nice to meet you. Thanks. That'll do some more, everyone. Back to the studio. Hey, everyone. We wanted to finish out our newscast today with a few announcements. Seeking female athletes willing to work hard and be a positive teammate. Conroe Tigers softball tryouts begin Friday, January 24th at 3 p.m. Saturday, January 25th at 9 o'clock a.m and Monday, January 27th at 3 p.m. Please come dressed appropriately with your own equipment, especially a glove. You must have a physical on fire with the trainer. You must be passing all classes for the last grading period. One of the most common things families with financial issues struggle with is buying jeans. Many teens could benefit by you simply donating a pair of jeans to provide basic clothing needs and increase self-esteem. Here at Conroe High School, we are coming together to provide jeans for teens. Please consider donating a pair of gently used or new jeans to the drop box in the front office. This jean drive will last from January 13th to January 24th. All sizes and styles are needed. Hey y'all, our Chinese Spring Festival celebration is here. Celebration is in main campus cafeteria from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. on Thursday, January 23rd. Everyone is welcome to join us. We ask a $5 donation. This donation includes a meal and drink for you at the event. The donation wristband will be issued from Ms. Shang in room 2019 main campus or room 101 ninth grade campus. UIL Journalism will meet this Thursday in Ms. Gold room number 227 right after school. Snacks will be provided and new members are welcome to attend. Monday's bowling competition gave us winners for the girls team and the boys team. The girls team were one bowler short, yet managed to win against Montgomery 23 to 14. Girls bowlers of the week was Lily Coleman and the boys edged College Park 26 to 11. And the bowler of the week was Trevor Laney. On Saturday, February 1st, the Golden Girls will be hosting their annual bingo night. Prices range from $25 to $250. There will be 10 games you could win, along with other raffles, door prizes, and great food. This year is 60s hippie theme, so come support and share the love. New job posting and voluntary opportunities in the CCC. Come see Mrs. Garza in the CCC for more information. The high school Democrats are holding their January meeting this Thursday, January 23rd. All are welcome to join. This week's College of the Week is Lamar University. Lamar University is located in the Beaumont area, which is only an hour and 45 minutes away from Conroe. Lamar offers both face-to-face -face and online programs, so it is something for everyone. With 53% of the student population being first-generation college students, they are known to help students throughout the college process. The reason art and science as well as education are among the fastest growing programs at the university. 
This Division I university offers a wide range of programs that meet a variety of needs for all students who attend. Check out this video. I like being able to see the kind of things I'll be able to do once I come to college. My favorite part of Cardinal View, I'm going to say talking to um, the professor in marketing. What I really enjoyed is just the adults and the students, they're very welcoming. They are willing to answer any questions you have from like a parent's point of view. It's very reassuring to know that my daughter's going to be in a great place. This morning we had, they had king cake and we had breakfast. They gave us a t-shirt. Um, we went and we played some games. They told us this little game that they were doing for a drawing for a scholarship. And then I split into my business group. I met the marketing professor and I also met the dean. They're nice guys and they know a lot. They seem to have infinite wisdom. Then we went on the tours. We talked to admissions and we talked to housing and freshman orientation so it was really helpful just to be able to know like what the next step is because the whole college process is a little daunting even as a parent so it was great just to know okay now I need to do this and now she needs to do that just reassures you as a parent that your child is going to be successful because there are organizations and people here to help you and it's nice to see where your child's going to be spending a lot of their time all parents should come because it gets Parents get a chance to see what's going on and talk one-on-one -on -one with the different professors and the financial counselors. It's really great to get to know more about where you'll be spending the next four years of your life. I love it here and I'm really excited to go here. Before we go today, we have one special announcement. KTIG will be hosting a talent show here at CHS this March. We are so excited about this event. The date of the show will be announced soon, but we are starting audition. But ad auditions are open. Millie, how can they audition? That's a great question. All they have to do to audition is tag KTIG News on Instagram in a performance video or email us at link at ktignews at gmail.com. There will be a cash prize for the first place winner. Auditions will close on January 31st, so make sure to tag us or email us as soon as possible. More information about the event and tickets coming soon. Now it's Twitter poll time. Last time we asked you which sports team you want to see on the show next, and the results are in. Wrestling won with 60%, so stay tuned in tomorrow for a wrestling interview. Today we'd like to ask what type of acts would you like to see in the Tiger Talent Show? Singing, dancing, or something else? Be sure to vote and let your voice be heard. Well, those are all the announcements that we have for today. Don't forget to follow us on all social media at KTIG News. As always, CHS, start strong, finish strong. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for more KTIG News.